As we get deeper into October and steadily march closer to Halloween, I've decided to do more projects that have that kind of creepy Halloween vibe to it. So while researching this, I saw this cool technique in which you make crystals grow on like skull or bone or something. And I decided that I, I must do that. So I probably went over to my bone merchant as everyone should have a bone merchant. And I got this little, look at this little skull. Look at him. I believe it is a ferret. A little ferret skull. So the thought is to use a borax mixture to grow crystals on the back of this thing. The process looks super easy and really cool, so uh, let's jump into that. First though, I also picked up this little, I think it's like a quartz crystal here. So my thought is I'm going to position this inside the little, little ferret mouth here so that it'll look like the crystal from the back kind of grew through the front into this solid crystal shape. And it'll also keep the jaws open, showing off those teeth a bit more. That's gonna have a really cool look to it. So first, to secure that in place, I think I'm just gonna use some hot glue and tack everything where I want it. To do this, I just add a couple of dabs of glue to it and stick my crystal into place. Then seeing how the lower jaw sits, I do the same there as well. And this gives us this already kind of cool crystal coming out of the mouth look. Okay, so with our skull all set up and ready to go, all we really need is some boiling water, some borax, and a glass mason jar to put all this stuff in. Oh, and quick point of fact, I read that it really kind of is important what you put it in. Uh, borax can be a little bit finicky, and it won't work if you try to do this in like plastic, let's say, or painted glass even seems to have some issue. So you want like glass or Pyrex, or I read that metal can work as well. Once the water's boiling, I add it to my mason jar and then begin adding the borax, stirring it in as I do to help it dissolve. What we're looking for here is super saturation, which means as we're stirring this in, we're gonna reach a point where some will start to gather at the bottom, meaning the water isn't accepting anymore. It's already completely saturated with the borax. After reaching this stage, I add a little bit of purple food color just to give the finished product a little, a little pop. With my concoction ready, I dip my skull halfway in by tying it to this stick with some thread and putting that over the top of the jar. Then I cover the whole thing with cardboard to let it cool off. And the reason for the cardboard really is you, you want it to cool off as slowly as possible. From what I've read, that's really gonna help you get the best crystals. From here, it's kind of a waiting game. It's gonna take about eight hours for those crystals to fully form. But while I wait those eight hours, I figure I'll make a little stand in the meantime for it to kind of be presented on. To do this, I start by cutting these three pieces of 14 gauge wire, each one eight inches long. After taking some time to straighten them out, I use a pair of needle nose pliers to put some decorative twists in the ends. These don't have to be perfect, they're mostly just for looks. Once I have them all done, I line them up together and then use some thinner wire to lock their centers together. This leaves me with this nice tight little bundle here. From here, I just start bending out the sides to make some legs and then a top making for this kind of crude but flexible tripod here. The thought being the little skull might be able to sit on top of it once it's ready. Then for a little bit more Halloween themed look, I hit the whole thing with a black spray paint. I'm also gonna use this metal mason jar lid as my top for my stand. So I hit it with some black spray paint as well. And then once dried, I hot glue it onto the top. Okay, my eight hours is up. Let's see how this looks. Oh man, that is so cool. Check out that crystal, that looks so cool. It looks like the skull is just kind of coming out of it. It is beautifully creepy. I am beyond impressed with how cool this thing came out. It looks like the, the crystal is growing right out of the back of the skull here. Really dope. I will say, and I didn't get it on camera, but I had a little bit of a snafu at the very beginning because I didn't think of it, but the boiling water that I put this in melted my hot glue. Uh, the, the very front of it stayed on, so everything stayed in place, but I'd say if you're going to do this, maybe super glue it instead of using the hot glue, or just do the top of the skull first, and then glue the bottom of the jaw on afterwards. But this came out great. Now, if you don't like how your crystals came out, it's cool. Just put it back in hot water and those crystals will melt and new ones will form over it. Then once you do like how it turns out and you're done with it, make sure you seal it up with some kind of clear coat because it will melt as it gets wet and you handle it and everything. And depending on what kind you use too, this can also give it a kind of a cool shine. And happy that it's sealed up and protected, I place it on this little bed of moss and crystal for display. I love how this came out. It's macabre, but really, really pretty. It's such a nice way to honor this little floof noodle that passed. Like, look at how pretty that is. I dig this kind of memento mori art anyways, and for Halloween, it's absolutely perfect. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, want to give me some of that like it love, and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. Also, special thanks to all these lovely people here who make this possible. If you'd like to join their names and help us grow, why don't you consider joining our Patreon with the description down below. In the meantime, though, keep leveling up, you. Welcome to the end card. Thank you for sticking around. I'm glad you liked this video enough to stay this long. In fact, YouTube thinks that you'd like these videos down here as well. Clicking on them really helps my channel, so I don't know, why, don't you, why don't you give that one there a press? I like that one. That was a good one. You're so cute. I love you.